What is extremely risky, but is accepted as safe by everyone? Skiing is one of the most dangerous activity that is accepted and even promoted. Pregnancy and giving birth. Maybe not safe by everyone, but unprotected sex. Ladders and step ladders. One of the most common ways people get injured at work or at home have some nightmare fuels. NSFW forklifts have machine spirits that lust for blood and property damage, but we tolerate them in commerce anyway for their incidental ability to move heavy stuff around. Drinking alcohol. It's addictive and that addiction has an incredible impact on those around you. Alcohol addiction is one of the main causes for childhood neglect and trauma and at the root of generational trauma patterns. Yet drinking yourself into a stupor when you're struggling is still romanticized and socially acceptable. Horse riding seriously. I don't know a single rider that hasn't been seriously injured or handicapped by a horse. Not brushing your teeth consistently. I know it's probably not accepted as safe by everyone, but I'm going to add on here anyway. Some folks just don't care or don't realize how important it is to wash your teeth every day. Many risks occur when you don't brush them for a long period of time. Childbirth. Distracted walking. Walking while texting, talking on the phone, or being preoccupied with headphones can lead to accidents, falls, or collisions with vehicles or other pedestrians. It's important to remain aware of your surroundings while walking to ensure your safety. Everyday relationships. The media and TV loves to push stranger danger, but the fact is that murder is almost always a crime committed by an intimate partner or close relative. If you are worried about being killed, ignore the strangers and look at the Thanksgiving table. Walking on sidewalks next to strangers operating massive metal machines with kids fighting in the backseat, music blasting and making phone calls, and stressed from traffic and work and family at home, trying to get where they are going as quickly as possible, usually medicated into some kind of trance, by something or other with almost no checks to test their competency. We need more people-friendly cities instead of car-friendly cities. For me farting. Social media such as Facebook or Instagram, more or less. Why would I want some strangers to know exactly where I work, where do I live, when I'm home, how do I look, what do I like, and so on. Climbing on ladders. I'm a physician doing fellowship training in ICU medicine, and I'm working in a trauma ICU currently. I have seen an alarming number of dudes in their 40s and 50s end up paralyzed from the neck down and or in a permanent vegetative state from injuries sustained falling off ladders, from single-family home height. Pay someone to clean your gutters or fix your roof, if you can. Crossing roads in India. Maybe not everyone, but I do say that way too many people out there just indiscriminately have unprotected sex. Then they are stuck with an STD or an unwanted pregnancy or two or three and they are stuck with the consequences just cause they didn't want to put on a condom or whatever lame excuse they come up with. Mountain climbing and hill walking. Zebra crossings. Bring able to take a loan or mortgage way above your comfort level. Life 